Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3 where we're gonna continue our story and we're gonna see where this is going today. So, we have destroyed some of these Wastelanders. Our Major is dead but we found a new Major, Major Tomcat here. This little kitten is gonna assist us hopefully and I, I wanna see where this is going. So, let's go ahead and um, let's find out where we are going guys. Uh, another thing that I quickly want to do, I figured it out last time we were playing, um, we found something. We got this 5% uh, experience bonus here, but that thing gives us hard ass plus one. So I think I want to take that. The lucky rabbit foot here? It's a critical chance plus three. We're going to keep that on Shadow Cat, but I think the hard ass might be better than the experience bonus here, so we're going to keep that. Also, our secondary weapon is maybe better off being this army rifle here instead of the rust bucket. And it's going to be the Greaser here instead of this Nailer. Deals way more damage. Oh, actually, that's damage times 6. That's damage times 4. Oh, it shoots more often. Interesting. So that thing has a higher base damage, but less ammo consumption. Is ammo really a thing that we have to worry about? It might be, actually. It might be. So we're going to take that as our secondary. Again, it's just the secondary things. But anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going and see where the story goes. There's a medical crate that we're gonna quickly take. Let's check it out. So here we go. What do we find? We find a mad pack. Requires one first aid. Oh, another thing that I want to check out is the... Uh, the stats of the mad kit. Also, jitter. That's drugs. Two action points. Used to feel like you could kiss the sky. Your mama will be disappointed. Gain 25% evasion for 36 turns, but suffer negative 10% evasion for 720 turns afterwards. Uh-huh. Alright. I don't think I'm gonna play the drug game so much. I think we're gonna use them as barter items instead. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that. I'm not gonna use it. I will, I'll take it, but I'm not gonna use it. So, let's see. Our main quest is to find the Patriarch. Oh, yeah, we did. No! No! If I ever catch who did this, they're dead! Every last one of them dead! You hear me? My brother will be avenged! Yeah, we will see about that. So, we killed one of the brothers. Actually, our major killed one of the brothers. And there's another brother that we have to kill now. Also, glass knucks. What? Imagine that. Brass knuckles with glass spikes on top of them? 20% chance to apply diseased. That is... Uh, sounds nasty. Also, I hope that uh, the next few maps are not that railroaded. I mean, we are still in a kind of after tutorial here, but... Uh, I hope that we get some more open world scenario later. And it seems like we have to use this vehicle to just get out of this sector. Let's go. Was that... Major Brassad? They got her? God damn it. Fuck this place. Fuck it. And here we go. So, let's see where the card brings us. The cards. I've been playing too much D&D. &D. Um, this beautiful armored vehicle with that big-ass gun on top of it. That's what I'm talking about. So, let's get into it. Oh man, I cannot wait to this, for the story to unfold. And I cannot wait to pick up more characters. I want to have more rangers in my squad. So that we have to make more meaningful tactical decisions on the battlefield. And ideally we have like one of each character. Something like a bruiser, a brawler that is on the front line. A tank for the team. Welcome, rangers. You may approach the Patriarch. And here we are. What? That was easy. Hello, Patriarch. Huh. Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. 
Okay, so we can kill the Dorsey. Or say he's your prisoner. Or leadership too. That we don't have yet. But you know what? We are playing a video game here and we can be the bad guy without consequence. So let's explore what happens. Don't mind if we do. Be my guest. Well done. I wish I could give you all the Dorseys. And maybe, before all this is over, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. Sure. Um, first A2. Requirement not met. Oh no! Oh no, we are missing some dialogue options here, but okay. Uh, thank you, Patriarch. We appreciate anything you can do for us, or we all want... All we want is to complete our vengeance to the Dorseys, uh, but we won't say no to your help. Better than nothing, as long as our deal's still in place, or no deal. If the ambush was your fault, then you owe us. Give us your supplies, or our supplies, and let us go home. I think we're gonna be friendly to him. It's good to have allies in the wasteland. I'm and we get more reputation. So nice. Amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. Now. <sighs> introductions. <laughs> My name is Saul Buchanan. What? I own Colorado. Though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now... Yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. Oh, that is so good. That freedom hammer. Oh my god. I love the humor of this game. This is so cool. So, this is Private Jody. Can we recruit her? Is that possible? I need to rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? Yeah, recovering okay. Ah, uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your foot in while I get back on my feet. Got it. You're not joining as of now. Uh, talk to you later, Jody. Later. See you. And that's a freaking power armor. Hi. Mm. Uh, mm. All right. Sense. What about diligent Joe? Is he Pleased talking to, to us? Meet you, Rangers. Hi. Okay, anything we can find here? Anything hidden? There's a garage door, we can pick the lock. Failure lock picking impossible. Uh, okay. What's that? An old weather torn, a weather worn pedestal. The inscription is fading and illegible. Let's go ahead and go inside. See what we can do here. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan. And this here's Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. Why are these alarms going off? No idea. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. Angry robots? Why are they angry robots? Or, so this place is ours now? Or, easy enough? We'll be right back. It's ours, really? Is this our home base now? Yep. Noisy alarms and all. Courtesy of the Patriarch. We can talk more once we get a little peace and we'll quiet. find someone who will. Nice! All right, enter the war room and wake the base's main systems. Let's do that. Oh, this is big. Yeah, we're gonna explore that later. Let's quickly turn off these alarms because they're really annoying. Alarm, alarm, alarm. 
a more big to you in a rooper. This is a secure, bumper bed facility you to be as as your kids. If all for it, they should you will be plus up if Yo guys, I'm getting uh, a lot of 90s um, Eurodance vibes now. Do you know um, U96 does board? That is the robot voice of that. That is so good. <laughs> Emergency. <laughs> so good. Uh, okay, so the base has been in the service for decades, blah, blah, blah. No, we're gonna use our special options, right? Kiss ass. We are the Arizona Rangers, a successor unit of the US Army Corps of Engineers. We are government representatives. Or... Your security system is showing signs of neglect. We are from IT. We are here to fix you. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, proper upgrades have not been applied in uh, 110 years. Okay. Friendly, but nevertheless, violent intruders have made... Stop shop repairs in the inter meaning talk. Okay. Hello, little ones. <laughs> uh, there's a container. Let's quickly take that. And that's a rat tech helmet. Requires four strength, negative 10% hit chance, but plus four armor. Merc armor, plus four, nice. And red tech armor, plus six. Okay. But negative one action point requires four strength. Yeah. 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 That's heavy, but it provides a lot of armor. We're gonna loot everything. And um, we're gonna probably do that here. Let's turn off the alarm. It's really going on my nerves. There we go. This terminal is dusty and old, but when you press the power button, it flickers to life. The computer beeps and whirs for the first time in years. As it boots up, security alert flashes up across the display. Every attempt to access a menu is met with command access only. Eventually, you query the machine for command's identify, uh, identity, and it replies, Command empty. Designate new command. Yeah, let's go. Install yourself as command. A camera flashes above the monitor and terrible photos of your faces slowly appear on the screen, line by line. Command recognized. Security alert cancelled. There we go. Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. Okay, that's the big boy. Hey, Patriarch. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Oh, really? Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since. But lately, there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course, but apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. So, you need us to round them up? Becoming assassins? You want us to act as em emissaries to your children? Make peace? Nah, we're gonna round them up. Ain't you smart. Yeah. That's how to teach them. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly clear. What if taking your kids alive is impossible? Mm. You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. Now, let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valors under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberties raising an army against me somewhere out on the eastern plains. Anything else you need to know? 
Um, ah, man, we should have really gotten Barter as a as a skill here. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll need more background. Uh, I think we are okay. Uh, we have a few things we'd like to ask about the Dorsey's and the ambush. Or thank you for briefing, Patriarch. Um, let me ask about the kids. What do you yeah, let's go know? with that. But one thing, you must have plenty of com competent people in Colorado. Why ask us to deal with the children? I don't care. Uh, what about Victory? Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Ew. Anyway, I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Okay, so he is a uh, the psychopath. You will never get Major Tom, by the way. Major Tom belongs to us. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Oh, okay. Um, there were other survivors from our, from our convoy. That's great news. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages might not be much left by the time you find them all right who's Vela? <sighs> soft spoiled fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. Uh, who are the Kippers? Crazy cultists. Worship an old U.S. president as a god. Trouble is, they're the only ones who know how to refine oil anymore. Oh, so I see, okay. We gotta play nice. Yeah. So, let's tell us about Liberty. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. Yeah, she's the end boss. Okay, got it. Um, sounds like, sounds like she's a born leader, yeah. At least I raised one. Thanks for the info. We'll do our best. You'd better. Anything else? No, I think we're fine. We just gotta go now. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Okay. Sounds like a piece of cake. Cocky, huh? Well, cocky's good. As long as you can back it up. All right, let's move out. Yeah, we got some levels. All right, that's cool. That is so cool. Also, let's take a look around. And what the hell is that? What are you stepping on? The what? Is that something like in the world? Or was it just some kind of uh, marker, some game marker? Interesting. Oh, we will figure out what's going on in this place here. So, mission log. I know how to use that already. Game is saved. And there is more to find. So, let's take a look at that first. It seems like to be a radio. Yeah, we got some static here. Oh, and finally, we can pick a lock. Let's go for it. So, it requires lock picking skill 2. Let's see what we can find in that little stash. We get an old journal and we get an empty can of Aquanet. 
Not bad hair, just bad air. Alright, bit of junk there. We'll take a look at that in a second. First of all, I want to see what we can find on the containers. The burnt book, as well as a bit of junk and money. Alright, another container. It's the same thing, basically. And there's another lockpicking thing. And another large container. Oh, cool. Also, what can we do with that? With that thing, yeah. With the computer, with the mainframe. Bunker Buster Heavy Machine Gun. Alrighty. We got a pocket dock. Plus one armor, healing bonus plus 10%. That's it. Wait, that's armor modding. Okay, got it. That's a long magazine. Magazine pl uh, size plus one requires weapon modding. Nice. Guys, we need a modder. We need somebody who is actually able to mod stuff. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at that later. Select a weapon or armor you want to upgrade. Choose the modify option under it. Different mods require different armor, weapon modding skill levels. Sure, we're gonna check that out in a second. So first of all, I want to see if I can do anything on this mainframe. And then we're gonna go and upgrade our characters. This terminal is displaying information about the base system. All seems normal. You mean all systems nominal. Examine the security system. The status reports indicate that all is normal at the moment. An option displaying all security alerts shows a number of long... Uh, a number so long it goes off the right edge of the screen. Nerd stuff 2. Investigate the issues with the servitor's behavior. <gasps> After some searching, you access hidden menu. The core processor is jammed with thousands of cute requests dating back a century. It's a wonder the servitors can make any decisions at all. Why the script to wipe the requests? Yeah. You take a little time to test your code before running it, then watch the stale request disappear. Processing returns to standard capacity. With the accumulated clutter cleared, the system shows, shows only a few thousand unread messages. Only. Mm -hmm. Navigating it should be somewhat easier. Let me read the old security logs. Log data backed up to archive room server. With the accumulated clutter cleared, the old system shows only a few thousand. Okay, never mind. Um, return to top menu. Terminal is displaying information about the base systems. All is normal. Yeah, it's fine. Hey guys, you good now? Oh, they are also losing their kind of confused state. These guys are so adorable. Okay. Nice. Uh, I want to upgrade. So, here we go. Uh, inventory intro. No, we have done that already. Let me let me go ahead. I don't want any of that. I know how it works. Let's go. I want to get some attributes. Let's go. Increasing attributes. Thank you very much. Continue. So, this guy here is our nerd and our kind of leader. What do we get out of this here? I think I want to get some more intelligence. Let's do that. And then get all the weapons upgrade stuff on him. So lots, lot of, lots of mechanics, lots of nerd stuff. This is what we're going to do with Blackjack. So... Is it worth picking... Actually, is it worth picking coordination? I think we can get plus one action point out of that. Yeah, look at that. This is a threshold that we can meet here. Mm, yeah, okay, let's go with that then. Let's take it. And then later on, we're going to upgrade Charisma. And I think we're gonna upgrade intelligence a bit more. Getting these skill points is important. Yeah, that's it. But first of all, we confirm that. And go back to the skills tab. So, let's see. I definitely want a bit more kiss ass. So we get that. Mechanics and nerd stuff. Fixed generators and machines difficulty three or less. And I also want armor and weapon mods. Can we get away with only fixing generators of a difficulty of two? Hack computers, difficulty of two. Hack robots. Ooh, this also gives us a perk. Wait a second. Targeting override. Override side effect. All bleeps are permanently replaced with bloops. Sounds good, actually. Maybe we are not kissing that many asses here. I don't know. That gives us a perk. I like perks. Let me undo quick, real quick. Mm, confirm that. 
So, Kiss Ass is staying at 2, that's fine. We're gonna upgrade nerd stuff and we're gonna upgrade... Where is it? Where is it? Weird Science is also interesting, I think. We're gonna upgrade... Weapon modding? I still don't know what toaster repair might be. It's so weird. Uh, and armor modding. So he's gonna be... Yeah, he's gonna be our nerd. Let's go with it. And... Close. Perfect. Yes, confirm. Thank you. So, pretty good. And then we have a Sneaky Cat. Sneaky Cat also gets one attribute point. Getting into... Combat speed. I mean, she wants to be fast, right? Also, having high evasion is probably pretty good. Intelligence gives her more skill points, eventually. And we got um, action points upgrade already. Luck. Luck gives us penetration plus one. Alright. I like the penetration idea. Let's go. And we're gonna get some skill points on her. So. Uh, she needs lockpicking. I'm gonna go for level 3 already. I uh, like first aid. I like sneaky shit as well. That gives her a higher perception as well. Let's go with that. And honestly, animal whisperer? Or do we need more automatic weapon? We get gopher hunter perk. Whatever that means. We will check that out in a second. Yeah, let's go with automatic weapons, lockpicking, and then sneaky shit. That's her style. That's what she does. Alright, let's close that. Confirm. Perfect. So. Here we are. Anything else we want to check out here? I think this room is basically done, right? There's a container down there. But it's on the lower levels. No. I think this room is cleared up. Sure. Then let's get out of here. Rangers. Come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting. That yes! Yes! That's what we need! I want staffs and recruits! Where's everybody? Let me go, let me go, let me go. And I think it is also a good idea. Now let's talk to them first. Let's go. Take one. Fill you in on a few things, Rangers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good ready. job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. I'm excited. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here. We'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits. Just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the Marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Oh yeah, that was the radio that we saw up there. So he's gonna be the guy operating that, whatever that means. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Absolutely. So, speak to Sergeant Gretzky to hire new rangers for your squad. Your squad can have up to six members. No more than four can be rangers. Ah, so they, they have some something like, comp yeah, companions. Okay, the other two slots might be filled with companions such as Marshal Kwan. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially rangers, but want to help out all the same. You will find plenty of companions on your journey throughout Colorado. Nice! I am ready. Show me who you got line up. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So, pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Okay. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, guys. We can add a new recruit. And... Yeah, they are... Pre no! I wanted to say they are pre-made, but we can create custom character. We have to, guys. We have to definitely create a custom character here. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. So let's create a custom character. I want a bruiser, I want a brawler on the front line. So let's go ahead and create a melee character first. And <laughs> Twitch, nice. Uh, crowbar. Oh, I have an idea. Um, 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 name is uh, name is Kodiak. He's gonna be a big beefy guy. He's male. He is... Here they come. Get ready. Oh, are we going? Get ready. That's pretty good. Get ready. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Rebel? Damn. Damn. Shit just got real. Mm, Enemies. No. Enemies alerted. 
This is... Oh, man. This is not the best way to begin an engagement. Pip you started it. We'll finish it. Yeah, we're gonna make him a jerk. So his name is Kodiak. He is male. He's definitely not a bookworm. Let's give him a good background. Um, not Desert Cat. No. Explosive damage bonus. No. Critical chance. No. No robot damage. Melee bonus damage. 10%. That's what I need. So here we go. Let's go back. So we're gonna make it quick, guys. We're gonna quickly go through his appearance. Um, we need like a like a broad jaw, jaw something like the uh, maybe this even. What about that? Oh my god! No, I don't want a bloodied guy. Uh, maybe some tattoos. He might be good. Yeah, I like him. He's gonna be it. Uh, yeah, bright skin color. It's okay. And then we need <laughs> we need a we need a haircut as well. You know what? We can go a little bit freaky on this guy. Also, he looks like Eugene from The Walking Dead. Doesn't he? I love it. What about like a nice red mohawk? I love it. Oh, also beard. Here we go, guys. That's Kodiak. That's our friend Kodiak. Absolutely. I don't want to give him a helmet because I want to see his face, basically. I like that a lot. <laughs> Could give him that as well. Nice mantle. That would be also pretty good. Uh, but no, I'm not gonna give him any kind of helmet. Jacket is fine, whatever. Pants is fine. Armor color is fine. Physique. He needs to be a bit bigger. And he needs to be a bit... Jacked or stocky? Could be both. I like the stocky thing. Honestly, that's good. And we need a portrait. Uh, yeah, which do we take? Which one do we take? This could be him. There is nobody with a mohawk right now that I like. Nobody with his facial expression that I like. Could be him here. Okay. Or we just put a helmet on him, on his portrait. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take him, I like him. So, it's gonna be Kodiak, that's his face. There we go. So, starting weapon, I don't care because we have some starting weapons already, so we're gonna take that blunt weapon, whatever. Um, attributes... Oh, now, now we have to make some decisions. We're gonna definitely get him strength. Shall we give him 6 strength already from the get-go? Whip items... Oh, let's say 5 maybe? Con 20? 25? Uh, con per level plus 9. Yeah, we are actually getting to some certain thresholds here. Con per level plus 9. I want him to be beefy. Alright, we definitely need... A bit of coordination so he gets action points. Let's get that to 4. I think we can... Oh, this penetration. Yeah, we're gonna keep luck where it is right now. Hit chance. Hit chance is good. Hit chance is what we need. Speed is also a thing that we need. We need to get to the front line quickly. So let's get him speed 4. Intelligence. It's not a thing he needs. Charisma. is also not really a thing he needs. Strike rate. Mm, leadership range, leader experience. Experience bonus is actually nice. Uh, yeah, we're gonna leave him. Actually, let's get down with the charisma. Let's give him a bit more. A uh, bit more coordination, actually, right? Status effect resistance. Or just more base strength. It upgrades our melee damage bonus directly. What is speed actually giving us? Physical quickness and reaction time. Strike first, strike through, then get out of there. What does combat speed mean? Also, do we need high evasion on that guy? I'm gonna go with coordination because that gives us another action point at the next level up. I'll go with that. Or... You know what? I'm gonna drop awareness and I'm giving him one more coordination. So that's gonna be our melee guy. So we got plus three action points. And a bit of status effect resistance. That's good. We'll take that. Alrighty. So, skills. Let's go ahead. First of all, I want melee combat. I want a lot of it. Let's give him four directly. Gives a stunning blow. Very nice. And yeah, here's the blunt and bladed weapon hit chance. That is uh, what we need. Exactly. So we'll take that. 
striking distance. Mm, let's go to five. Why not? And what what's next? Armor modding, lockpicking, nerd stuff, mechanics, all of that is completely irrelevant to him. We have something like survival here, improves the ability to avoid dangers on the world map and contend with hostile wildlife. Avoid avoid world map encounters. I don't know how they're gonna pay, uh, play out, so maybe we're gonna give him plus one survival. Bit of that. Uh, weapon modding is a thing that we get on the other character, that's okay. Barter, hard as leadership, none of these are really required here. So he is just a guy who hits hard. What about explosives? Deal more damage with explosive defuse bombs and avoid losing your digits when they go off. I like that idea. Let's give him explosives too. Duck and cover. There is a famous two-step defense against upcoming fireballs and no one actually does it. Let's go with that. Explosive resistance 6%. I mean, he's gonna be in the thick of the fight and he's gonna be able to disarm landmines and traps. Let's do that. So we have that. Melee combat, explosives expert, and... Actually, explosive damage bonus. So that is... We have another character. I, I was thinking already about the, uh, the secondary character that we're gonna pick up. And I think I want to have another character that is able to use... A automatic weapon. No, not automatic weapons. Big guns. And that in combination with explosives is already good. So we're gonna not invest here. Um... Damn, what do we take? Bit of small arms? Why not? I mean, while we are running towards the front line, it's good to have like a gun, a revolver, or like a handgun that we can shoot. Because that will not take out so many action points. I like that idea. We give him small arms one. Only one. It's fine. Actually, let's, let's go with two. It's fine. The thing is, oh wait a second, semi-auto pistol hit chance, revolver hit chance, pump shotgun hit chance. Okay, okay, we got it. We got our guy. He's good with survival and fighting. Nothing else. Let's go. So we have Kodiak. Shall we give him a quirk? There was something like, I think it was Bob Bag, right? Plus six armor, negative speed, you know, just being our brawler, as being our tank, being on the front line. I'm gonna go with that. I hope that he's not getting hit. At all. I mean, if he's getting hit, then he's gonna just absorb the damage. That's what we're gonna be doing here. So let's go ahead and go for it. So, welcome to the crew, Kodiak. Secondary character. We need somebody that is able to use big guns, and I want a small girl for that. So we're gonna create a custom character. It's gonna be great, guys. Um, name is... Uh, let me think, let me think. Big guns... Name is... Hmm... I'm thinking, I'm thinking about a good name for the character right now. That might be Nova. Stormcrow. I like Stormcrow. Let's go. Uh, it's female, definitely. And we, we need can a name. This, right? uh, a, 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 a voice here, I'm sorry. My brain Shoot, is not working. This. We can handle this, right? You started- Here comes the pain train. Uh-oh. They have us at a disadvantage. And they see us. If you want to brawl, knock yourselves out. Oh, are we going? Okay. Get ready. Shoot. We're in it now. You, you started it. Uh-oh. Uh they have us at a disadvantage. What's on your neck there? I don't know. There was something There's weird new targets there. incoming. Damn. Damn. Sh oh, are we going? This Damn. is real hard. Enemies. This is not the best way to begin an engagement. Come and get it. Come. Shoot. They saw us. I'm going to make a We're recruit. We're in it now. And let's see. We have experience bonus. Perception. Uh, Fire damage, no. Explosive damage bonus. Maybe some rocket launchers. A critical chance, not bad. Bonus to do. No melee damage bonus, no. Kiss ass, no. Barter, no. Evasion. Evasion might be good. 5% evasion. Um, Yeah, I think I'll go with that. Uh, Paladin crit resistance. Hmm. Also, oh wait, do we need strength for heavy guns? I believe so, right? 
I think there might be something like strength that we need. Oh, maybe we make her a sniper then. Possibly. Possibly. So, let's quickly give her an exp uh, appearance. I want her to be a nice looking girl. Like that, sure. Some hair. Let's go with that. This looks okay. Yeah. No helmet, no jacket, no pants. I mean, she has pants. Uh, physique is a little bit smaller. And she's a slender build. Let's make her like real small. All right. Portrait. That could be a portrait. But she's looking too badass, definitely. We need somebody with a more mellow exp uh, expression here. That might be it. Yeah, that's her. Let's go. Cool. So, we need a starting weapon. Heavy weapon. Tons of damage, punch through, shoot them while moving. However, it's almost impossible. They are far too heavy and inaccurate. But restraining, they are great for laying down covering fire. I want that. I might... I might be... I don't know. I might be not fulfilling the requirements to, to carry them. Okay, let's go back. Let's take a look at attributes. Yeah, a requirement for the biggest, baddest heavy weapons and armor. Good to know. Very good to know. Maybe I should have given our, our other friend there some, some heavy weapons expertise. I should have. I should have. Alright. Uh, anyway, so she's gonna be a sniper then. Let's give her high coordination for a good, good amount of action points. Let's go with that. We're gonna get uh, luck or penetration. Perception is good. Strength is a thing that she doesn't need, really. Speed seems good. Intelligence seems good. Kind of making her a jack of all trades right now. Awareness for hit chance. I like the penetration, actually. Let's go with that. So, this is gonna be her starting set. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the skills she's gonna get. She's definitely gonna be a sniper rifle specialist, so let's get her two points. She's getting mark target. Masterful precision if we get her four. I think it's gonna be okay if we just go with two picks right now, because... I also wanna give her some other stuff. There was something about disarming traps. So what about explosives? Let's take that. And... Actually, that doesn't make sense. Oh, dudes. Dudes, dudes, dudes. I'm kind of now sad that we misskilled the other character a little bit. Just a bit. I don't know what this toaster repair is. I have no idea. I should probably take a look at that. Also, I want two points of barter, because that is um, gives us more sell value, and uh, we could have gotten some interesting options earlier. So we'll take that. That's seven points remaining. No modding right now. You know what, I'll take two points in toaster repair. I don't know what it does yet, but it sounds fun. Nerd stuff, we don't need that. We have it on the other guy. Armor modding is also gonna go on the other guy. Weird science. Maybe weird science increases damage you deal with unconventional types of weapons and serves as a requirement for exotic high-tech equipment. I'm gonna upgrade that by two. And we're gonna go for sniper rifles. That's fine. Alright. Here we go. We're not picking any quirks, I think. We're good to go. So. Let's go. Ah, I could remove Kodiak. Uh, can I change Kodiak? Let me quickly rebuild Kodiak. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a very quick rebuild of Kodiak because I needed that um, I needed that uh, heavy weapon skill. That makes so much sense. He was a. Spotted. Are you cr you crazy? You want a bra? You want a bra? They see new this. Here come. You started it. We'll That's him. All right. Uh, he was melee bonus. Right. We're gonna take that. We're gonna go with appearance, face. That was uh, this guy, okay. Here was a Mohawk. 
This one here. Great. Red color. Beard. That one. So that's him. Great. Helmet, no. Jackson, no, 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 no. Physique. We're gonna make him a bit beefier. Big, bigger. Great. Portrait was that guy. Cool. That's quick. Starting weapon uh, is gonna be a blunt weapon. High damage to enemies, heavy armor, and with little training you can stun with them too. I like that. Let's go. Again, starting weapon doesn't matter. We have a good set of weapons there already. And then there was something like uh, strength 6, coordination 4, speed 4. Intelligence is... Okay, we're gonna drop the charisma. I think I also dropped the awareness, right? And we're gonna give them a bit more luck for higher penetration? Or what was that? No, three action points. Yeah, that was it. I think that was the build. Cool, let's go back. Skills. Melee combat. That. We're gonna go with big guns. Two. Great. And then... We had... Do, 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 survival? Let's get one point into it. And I wanted explosives as well. There's one point. Ooh, this costs two points to upgrade, actually. So let's stick it with four right now. That's good. Oh, man. Suppressing fire on the big guns? Maybe that's a good idea. Or maybe we just go with... Yeah, maybe we just go with explosives here. Bit of survival, bit of explosives. That seems good, guys. And we want the Bob back quirk. Let's go. So that's the proper Kodiak. Very nice. We have a Blackjack, Shadowcat, Stormcrow, and Kodiak. And these guys are companions. Sorry for the bit of back and forth, but I think Listen, I it was necessary. Listen, I can get you the fighting troops you need. But if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but... Getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Alright, uh... We should get place staffed up. Any ideas? Well, I can take care of the rank and file. But you're gonna want mechanics, medics, an armory officer, that sort of thing. A competent staff is important when the going gets tough. Helping Sheriff Daisy could be a first step. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. All right, got it. Meanwhile, I'll start cleaning up here. Take a look around before you go. See if you want to keep any of this junk before we dump it all. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get going, guys. Thanks for the info. Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are gonna need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. That is the first companion! Yeah, if we could use the help. Great, I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. <coughs> there we go, guys. We have Marshal Kwan. Let me see what he can do. So, attributes. He is yeah, 4 coordination, 4 awareness, 4 strength, 4 charisma. He is pretty good, actually. Mm-hmm. Has a good amount of constitution as well. And accuracy. And he's coming with a rifle. So let's take a look at the skills. Automatic weapons. Level 5. Kiss ass and sneaky shit. Let's go. First of all, though, we're gonna get to the inventory and get some stuff on our friends here. So he's gonna be the guy... Who is actually wearing the the big armor. It's six armor. So good. We get... Wasn't there something like a negative? No, there isn't a negative. Ah, the negative was also only there if you'd not have enough strength to carry it. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> it looks garbage though. So... I guess I want to have him decked out as much as possible. So we're gonna take the pants. And we're gonna give everything to Kodiak, because he's gonna be our frontliner. So he has now 17 armor plates. That is good. Uh, you are evasive. Look at how she looks with that big gun here. Um, That's plus four. I think I'm gonna give it to Shadowcat. 
Sure. Here we go. And then we're gonna give that to... The scout armor. Give that to Stormcrow. Perfect. Stormcrow needs a better weapon. I mean, she is a sniper specialist, so she's gonna go with Cold Death. Let's try to get it in here. Perfect. And we cannot give her a secondary weapon because, you know, we, we don't have any good skills in that. Yeah. Nothing here. I mean, we can technically do that with a negative hit chance. Give her the glass knuckles. If anybody comes close, she's gonna knuckle her up. Um, or is it... Maybe it's better to put a, something like a automatic weapon into her hands. Small arms, shotgun. Maybe that. Let's go with that. Alright, so first of all, Kodiak. You need, I would say, the kneecapper. 25 pounds of drop forged steel at a 500 psi means never having to say you're sorry. 25% uh, chance to apply frozen. This here is similar damage. Has lower penetration. But a higher basic chance. Nothing says post-apocalyptic badass like 3 feet of razor sharp space age steel. 25% chance to apply bleeding. I think he's gonna go with... That. And I think he also wants to have a heavy weapon. And I think it's gonna be Polar Express. I mean, how many rockets do we... We have five rockets. Might as well take a rocket launcher as well, right? Energy fire, cold and explosion damage. Elemental weapons ignore enemy armor entirely. The four elemental damage types are energy fire, cold and explosive damage. Enemies are often weak to some elemental damage types. Uh, wait. Elemental weapons ignore enemy armor entirely. Does it also apply to my armor? It says enemy armor. That's kind of scary. So if the enemies bring fire, flamethrowers, our friend here on the front line might be dead. Uh, speaking of on the front line, it's 99 penetration. Dudes, what do we take here? The Warpig heavy machine gun. There are so many cool things to do. I think I want the rocket launcher. Let's go with that. Could also get the flamethrower. Mmm, difficult. But hey, we just test them out and then we see how this goes. We need some healing as well. And there is something like a grenade that we can use. Let's get her two healing patches as well. Everything's awesome. Our friend here already comes with one. Yeah, I'm not gonna outfit him. That's alright. So, I think we have everybody decked out. Oh, wait a second. There's... There's armor mods. Uh, yeah, we can use them as well. But I wanted to see where I can find these uh, these trinkets. We had some trinkets left over, right? Didn't we? There we go. 5% more experience. That's what I was looking for. Alrighty. So we got that. Good. I think nothing else is there. Guys, we have a squad. And we're gonna use them. I think we are done at this point. I want to get into the fight again. Or into exploring again. So let's take everyone. And get it going. Look at our ranger squad. Anything we can, we can find here? What's that? It's a door. Let's open it. Hello. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it oh. your trophy hall or museum or something. It's a razor back. a handball court. Shall we shoot it? I think we shoot it. Alright, let's clear it out. Uh, armor system. That enemy has armor, which means that it can block some of your incoming damage. Fortunately, all weapons have a penetration stat. If your weapon's penetration is equal or greater than your enemy's armor, your weapon will deal full damage. If your weapon's penetration is less than the target's armor, you will do a, a proportionate amount of damage, but no more than 80%. Examples, penetration 15 versus armor 10 is 100 damage. Sure. Penetration 5 versus armor 10 is 50% damage. Ah, yeah. Penetration 9 versus armor 10 is 80% damage. Got it. So, here we go. Let's fight. Do I take the snapshot? I gotta take care of my ammunition. I'll take it. Ah, dealt a bit of damage. Alrighty, so that's Shadow Cat. And another razor back. Okay. 56 health. 
This is uh, four action points. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here, get in cover. And then we're gonna go on Overwatch. Let's do it. Stormcrow with the sniper rifle. She has uh, somewhat of a clear shot, so let's get up here. Also, what's her skills? Her abilities? Wasn't there something like that? I'm gonna look at her perks later. Nice shot! Okay, next up is gonna be a preparation. Saving those action points for later. Alright, here's the big boy. This is six action points to actually get the rocket launcher off. Wow. Mm, mm, yeah, let's go there. And we're gonna defend ourselves. Yeah, let's go. Should have actually gotten to cover there. But okay. Chance is uh, pretty good. Alright, Quan. Show me what you're made of. Cool. That's great. Let's reserve that. That was awesome! That's not awesome. Uh, crap. Oh, oh, these guys! Whoa! Crap, we are poisoned. What are we doing against it? I don't know. Uh, we got a bunch of seconds remaining. Yeah. Healing bonus is really low. Cannot Can be removed by antidote or doctor NPC. Yeah, we have nothing against that. So we have a condition yeah. now. But we also got some loot. Wolverine fur. More Wolverine fur, thank you. And there's some other stuff that we can yeah. find here. More dollars, more Casios. Okay, I think here's the thing. We're gonna just wait for it to dissipate and then we're gonna heal her up. Although she might die. She might actually die. Uh, item. This poison is actually dangerous. But let's see what we found. Fallen billboard. Mm -hmm. The power button on the machine resists your press, seemingly rusted in place. It makes a sandy crunch as it finally gives away. The screen comes to life with a sad beep. Rate failure. Corruption detected across multiple sectors, initiating automated repair operations. Recovery complete. View recovered logs. Yeah, let's go. There are fewer logs than you'd expect for a base of this size. Many have suffered data, corruption and are unrecoverable, but you find a few that are legible. Oh, this is the data archive. Try to recover some of the logs. I like that we have nerd stuff. This file is encrypted. You are able to find the custom script that did it and reverse engineer the key. Oh no, nerd stuff 4. Okay, we might come back to that. Let me see. Um, Personal log, 2nd Lieutenant Halcott. 1995. He fixes his gaze on the monitor, fingers deftly tapping the keys, expertly covering his tracks as pulled data from the system. Lieutenant I Amore kept stealing glances back at him, uh, enraptured by his steely blue a eyes, as she watches the doorway for the guards. Have you found the evidence yet, Captain Hal Halcomb? We don't have much time left. The captain hit a few more keys and nodded. He pulled the floppy disk from the drive and signaled the lieutenant, quickly, back to the vent. Ladies first, he said, helping Lieutenant Amor up the ceiling ducts. Despite her generous curves, she nimbly slid into the duct and Captain Halcom was easily able to pull himself up and follow her, sliding the grate back into place just as guards swung by on their patrol. Okay. The world ended yesterday. Our missile defense system saved Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone and we can't make contact with anyone outside the state. Discipline will keep the men in line, but we've only got a few days until the civilians panic. We'll need to prepare the holdout until the, we can reconnect with Washington. Alright, we're gonna come back to that. Let me see the security logs real quick. Filtering tools help you cull the routine. Wait, filtering tools help you cull the routine and wholly corrupted reports. You may need a computer expert to access some of the other files. Okay, let's try to recover them. Some bad matter that I keep uh, this file from filtering properly, but you are able to easily repair it. 1999. Report 002. Radio signal reconstructed from partial bursts over past two months. Transcript follows. 
Good people of Arizona, we, the remaining officers of the 249th Engineer Battalion, have been unable to contact our leaders at Forcecom for too long and have come to the unfortunate conclusion that our government has fallen. Everyone of us here joined the army to protect the people of the United States. Uh -huh. And even if the US is no more, we intend to continue to protect you to the best of our ability. We've heard our, your cries to help on the radio. And we want you to know help is coming. Keep calling, shelter in place, and stay strong. We are on our way. This message will repeat. That's a year later. Classified information purge initiated. Report to erasure complete. Command cleared. Fully autonomous security system activating in T minus minus 30 minutes. Report number three. Intrusive moment detected on outer perimeter. Monitoring. Report number four. Intruders retreated without engagement. Monitoring. Interesting. Wow, there are so many of these logs. I think... Uh, let me see if I can get uh, the, la the latest one here. Report... Uh, intrusive moment mo mo detached uh, perimeter. Intruder locked and approaching. Oh. Turns to barracks. Various intruders seem perturbated and barricade door to barracks. Okay. Red alert. Servitors waking. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, I'm gonna get away from this terminal. So, that, that was good. We got some experience, at the very least, by hacking these things. What else is here? Is it a fungus? Shadowcat is dying. Okay, bit of a loot cache. How long is this poison still going? Alright, she's fine. So, let's figure out what happened here. Also, um, who has the highest perception of out of my my people here? And here are the perk points. We have gotten a perk point. Perk points remaining zero. So, puncturing shot, five AP, fires an assault rifle attack that punctures through multiple enemies, hitting anyone in its path, deals 100 damage versus stun targets. It's okay, but... How do we unlock it? I think we don't. Oh, you got a perk point! I see, so you gotta unlock them and then you also have to invest into them. Uh, robots you hack will now be attacked by other enemies. That is good. That is really good. Uh, we could also get deep pockets. One more quick slot. Plus two armor. More life. More evasion. Crit resistance. No, I don't want to get that. Okay, so we gotta make our decisions here. Weapon modding. Heal stripping now has a chance of providing weapon mods. Alright, that's also good. Yeah, I actually just wanted to check who has the highest uh, perception here so that we can check for traps. Robots you hack will now be attacked by other enemies. It actually seems like a good idea. But we need to hack robots in order to do so. We'll take that later, I guess, because uh, currently we are pretty much in the early game. I think I need like more armor, more con or something. Let's get the plus two armor, I think. Or we could take the penetration shot. Through multiple enemies, hitting anyone in his path. It's five AP. Let's get it. Let's try some cool stuff here. Anybody else got a perk point? No? Fine. So, with that being said, we also got an attribute point. Oh, and it just came from the from the computer hacking. Yeah, we got that. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Which means that, oh my god, we can get more... It was something that we wanted. That's two, four, five. Is this a mission reward bonus? No. I think we're gonna go from, for higher intelligence on this guy. Bro, let's take that. Or plus one penetration, which is also gonna be good. He's gonna get the intelligence. Let's go. Nice. 
And he's also gonna get another skill point. My god, all of the leveling, all of the character setup here. This is just incredible. Let's get Nerd Stuff 4. Bit of kiss ass as well. Mechanics, maybe? Armor modding, weapon modding. Scrunch's touch. Yeah, that's too late now. Um, fixed generators and machines. I like that. I like also to, to kiss some ass here. Let's go with that. Gotta get these dialogue options unlocked. Cool. So, I wanted to check who has the highest awareness, perception. She's pretty good at that. So yeah, we have some people who can do that. Alrighty. Um, let's keep going, guys. <laughs> let's keep going. There's still some stuff to uncover. There we go. Some energy cells and ammunition. I want to see if I can get in, in, into another fight. Oh, also one thing before we do it. Um, I want to get some more experience points by just getting up here. Hello. Uh, that was personnel logs. And we're going to do Nerd Stuff 4 now. Getting uh, another personnel log in 2000. Another suicide today. We are too visible here. Patterson is defensible, but the siege is exhausting, physically and mentally. Too many buckling under the strain. We need a better solution before we are... There are none of us left. I'm planning an evacuation on the, to the secondary complex. The sooner we abandon this hellhole, the better. Oh, Nerd Stuff 5. Alright. But hey, experience is experience, guys. We're gonna take that. Alrighty. Let's see. There's a person. Well, this must have been the mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest way to keep them loyal. Yeah, right. The food on the tables are cold and partially eaten, but not rotten. It's clear someone recently fled mid-meal. There's a toaster. Requires toaster repair level 3. Uh-huh. Okay, we cannot repair toasters, obviously. And I have no idea what they do. I think I need to read up on them and see if it's worth taking. Might be, it seems like it's kind of like a perky little thing. So what happened here? Hey, howdy. Holy crap. Hello. Who are you? Waving at you through the bars of a cell is a pale, rail-thin man with matted hair and fraying, faded clothes. He gives you a lazy, glassy-eyed grin. Hey, dudes. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before. Have I? We're the Rangers. This is going to be our new headquarters. Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I, uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, headquarters for what? Um, we came here from Arizona to help the Patriarch. Arizona? Arizona. That sounds far, real far. Are there, like, more of you here? Hmm... We found some recruits from the area. They are more joining soon. Oh, hey, man. That's good. That's that's good, man. More uh, people hanging out. <laughs> cool, man. Cool. So, hey. Uh, what? Uh, what? Mm, we've actually got a couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, man. Of course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. What's your name? My name? Uh, yeah, uh, Ned. Ned? Harry. Nick? Booger? Dickens? Lyle? Wow, he must have been here for a uh, while. Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone, uh, Ask me about it. I... I kind of been here for a while. Why are you in here? 
Because uh, the cell door is locked. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Oh man, didn't you like my joke? Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend though too, man, like, former friend who decided he didn't, uh, want to go splitsies anymore, so he, uh, he conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man. Like, seriously. This guy is so, so through with everything. Um... Do you want us to let you out? Kill the prisoner. Uh, oh my god. Uh, oh man, yes. Yes, please. I'm curious. Very much. Uh, you're calling this one, Rangers. But really, I just let nature take its course here, if you know what I mean. All right, I think I want to keep Quan around. So I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. Okay, we'll see what we can do. No promises. Cool, cool. I, I get it, man. No pressure, but uh, I sure appreciate it. So oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! So do we let him out? Long. I kind of don't want to. That's a master key here, by the way. Uh, I don't want to offend uh, Quan because I need him. He's gonna be a fighting buddy. Let's see who's done here. The body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He wears shabby clothes and has been dead long enough for the body to go cold, but not long enough to rot. Uh, perception three. Search the body. This man was carrying nothing but the clothes he wore on his body, and those are tattered and grimy. His shoes have holes in the soles. In one of his pockets, you find a half-eaten, sweet-smelling mushroom. Okay. We have no first aid. Not enough. You step away from the body. Uh, what's going on with the dead guy? Is he, uh, all right. All right. Let me see what we can find. And we kind of need to make our decision what we want to do with the big guy there. Oh boy. So that's a tin can. Good to have it. Oh man, do we want to... I want to kind of... I'm curious what happens. I really hope that Mr. Marshall Aquan is not leaving us right now. Let's see. We leave him out. Let him out. Oh yay! Thank, uh, thank you so much, man. I owe you big... Uh. Real big time. This won't be the last time you hear from me. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe we should have checked the terminal before. Alright, terminal displays information about the base system. Everything appears normal for the moment. Check recent activity logs. You come through the logs, culling ancient messages of routine system notifications until you have a list of recent activations. OS, wake initiated, wake complete, credentials rejected, credential accepted, login, admin, password, admin, of course. <laughs> OS, loading default admin operations, backup generators initialized, automated security lockdown initiated, login required, credentials rejected, credentials rejected. OS, station locking uh, out user due to multiple failed login attempts. The terminal displays information about the base system. Everything appears normal for the moment. Yep. Okay. So, we freed a prisoner. I hope we got a new friend, but maybe we got a new nemesis now. <laughs> Let me check out what's here on the right side. There was a refugee down here. Let's talk to him. Please, don't shoot. Whoops, that's not one. All right. The woman is gaunt, her clothes wrecked. She is surrounded by a group of bedraggled vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Who... Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. We're the rangers. I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. 
She shoots a fearful look to Quan, but he doesn't seem to notice. Did you set off the security system? Also, can you not live in a city? We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. Oh my god, so do we kick him out or do we keep him? So many decisions. I think I'm gonna let him stay. Your call. Won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. You said yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. The refugees' haggard faces break into smiles. A few of them hug each other. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing. Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us? Hear that, everyone? Sure thing. We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Yeah, useful. Please. Alright, so we got a uh, plus five reputation with the Wastelanders. That is nice. Also, what's in there? Customize appearance. Okay, I don't want any of that, so let's get out of here. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's get the container. Let's keep going. I want to explore the base to its fullest today. Uh, soldier's note. Okay, we will hear that in a second. And a bit of crap. Around the world in 800,000 days. Okay. October 12th, Alrighty, so we found a tripwire, we found a bunch of dead bodies. Let's quickly disarm Look that. At all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot for your armory. Yep. Nice. So, uh, let me take a look at what is what going on in here. Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Gonna take an ocean bleach to get it ready for customers. We got some medical supplies. That's great. The desiccated husk of a man is little more than a skeleton covered in papery skin. Search for the cause of death. Looks like a simple case of starvation and dehydration, but the corpse's ankles and wrists show some scarring, as if he was chained up for a while. Oh boy. The female corpse is bloated and putrefied, putrefied even. One of her arms is entirely missing. Black ichor oozes from the swollen torso. Core, right? She looks like she's missing an arm. Like, the missing an arm has nothing to do with the woman's demise. It had been expertly removed and stitched up long before she died. Instead, she seems to have died of an infection or illness. You notice the same scarring on her ankles and wrists as on the other corpses, most likely from manacles. The torn skin suggests that they were frequently moved. Okay, we need to upgrade first aid as well. Alright. We need to upgrade all of our skills. What's going on here? There's a pile of corpses in the corner. These people died in a variety of ways, most of them violent. Bullet holes in one, a crushed skull on another, a cut throat on a third. They all have same scarring on their ankles and wrists as the other corpses, most likely from manacles. The torn skin suggests that they were frequently moved. Yeah. Who are these guys? This leathery corpse is missing several of its digits and facial features. Ooh. Looks like 
exposure to extreme cold took this person's missing extremities. Scarring indicates that this may have happened multiple times over several years. But it wasn't the cold that killed him. Open wounds across his back indicate that he was whipped to death. You also find the same scarring in his ankles and so on. Oh wait, looks like these people had been trafficked by slavers. Good to know. Good to know. Can go to the cellar. Alright, let's go. Let's get everybody in here. Oh, we cannot open that. The door guarding this vault is enormous and is recessed into the walls, floors and ceiling. It appears that it can only be opened with that numeric keypad on the wall, several feet away. Enter a key code at random. You start pressing buttons, but you don't even know how many numbers are in the sequence. Every time you press enter, the display clears and the door shows no sign of moving. Yeah. Cool. We gotta find the key. The code. The key code. Let's keep exploring this side here. It's also a garage down there. Oh, another tripwire. Man, the high perception is really helping us out. Let's get the trash. Yep. So, what's in here? Terminal is displaying information about the base system. All seems normal right now. Check recent activity logs. The log. Uh, the only log you can find on this terminal relates to a massive data wipe from several decades ago. This terminal is displaying information about the base systems. All seems normal right now. Okay. Good to know. Let's pick the lock. So cool that we have so many cool specialists here. And we're gonna... Oh my god, that's a disarm level 4. Can we just... I don't know. Shoot at it or so? I think. Yeah. We did something. It's done. We're fine. We're good. Let's get the grenades. Ah! Still burning. What? The? No. Don't want to. Please. Ah! I'm dying. Not cool. Why are we still burning? I thought we have disabled the trap. No. I also got a Molotov cocktail. Yeah. All right. I'll take it. I guess. So, um, very, 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 very quickly. Where is my explosive guy? Oh, he has a grenade already, so we are fine here. You know what? Put the molly into the hands of Mr... Where's that thing even? It's flamethrower fuel. There we go. Molotov cocktail. 4 AP. Here you go, mister. So, that was a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna use one of my healing kits. Zip. There we go. Anything else here? No, just the trip, trip wires and trash. Yeah, that was unfortunate. <laughs> Let's go down here and see what's in there. So, just checking out the base. What? Slicer dicer. So, first of all, we gotta check out all of the stuff here. The automated chauffeur. Melted capacitator. This is all junk, right? Yeah, this is all junk. Let's do it all. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up-to-the-minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics. 21st century solutions for the problems... Problems of today, yeah. Uh, by the way, I uh, just realized we have a high mechanics now, which means we can now use the mechanized turret. That's pretty cool. Uh, the corpse of a young woman lies at your feet. Her body uh, con contorted at an unnatural angle. Judging by the smell, she's been here for a while. Uh, examine the corpse. 
The woman is wearing a patchwork jumpsuit and a leather tool belt. Her pockets are crammed with fuses, bundles of wire and bits of circuit boards. She looks like this wastelander made her living by scavenging and repairing electronics. She would have felt right at home in an old garage like this. Okay, I can only guess what happened here. I guess our slicer dicer here kind of sliced her up, right? Right, nothing else that we can really find except for the terminal up there. I'll check out the terminal and then we're gonna go for the slicer dicer. Terminal is displaying information and so on. Um, we call service elevator platform. Okay. Uh, all of the locks are destroyed. The terminal also has controls for some nearby vehicle lifts, but currently indicates that they are all unresponsive. Request issued, please wait. A loud grinding emanates from the huge trapdoor near the garage's entrance. The smell of rusted metal sparking fills the room. Mechanical failure reported. A servitor drone has been issued a repair order. Okay. It was that thing here, right? Let's talk about... Let's talk with the slicer dicer dude here. This enormous spider-like robot is in bad shape. It twitches in a puddle of its own fluids. It's casing dented and riddled with bullet holes. Judging by the scrape marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged it into the garage from somewhere else. Oh no, we need mechanics 3! Ah, oh, okay. You recognize it as a slicer dicer, a pre-apocalypse military robot. It appears to have been badly damaged in a firefight and it's missing some of its weapons. Upon closer inspection, you know that some of the bullet holes have been patched and several of the legs shown signs of recent welding. The slicer dicer's main access panel is open, revealing its wiring and power plant. It's clear that someone has been trying to repair the robot. I think we can do that. With a bit of more skill points later. Yeah, we, you know, the level pro the level progression is, uh, is going to be harder and harder, but I think we need more mechanics, definitely. Cool, cool, cool. So, is that all we can do right now? That's the garage door. Yeah, that seems to be our base now. That's the war room, that's the basement. There's something here, nearby. I also want to check that out. Let's go. It's a secondary building right next to us. Ooh, and we got something. What's that? It's a stash! And we got a new lighter. Sometimes you gotta be careful with where you go and where you issue. Hey, rabbit! <laughs> I think we couldn't tame the rabbit anyway. Alright, let's go up there. Ooh, it's really cool that they're using these uh, letters directly. Junk. More junk. Okay. Is there anything in here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alrighty, guys. I would say... That is, for the moment, enough in terms of base inspection. Actually, no, wait. There's, there's one more. There's one more System's building. That we're gonna... Greetings, Rangers gonna check out. Was that a talking car? We also have a dog here. Holy crap, no, we're gonna inspect that. All of this. Quickly, getting all the junk that's in here. Let me see if there's a, a stash that we can... Man, we need to disarm that. It's an armor crate. Or we just get through it with raw brute force. Let me see. Cannot disarm it at all. There's always a failure. It's a bit of a sad thing that you have a one, like an all or nothing chance. Again. Holy crap! Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get that stuff in here. Uh, tactical armor helmet. That's a critical chance plus 3% and armor plus 4. And this is armor plus 5. I like it. Cool. I don't like that we are getting hit so much, but okay. If that's the price we have to pay, then we are fine. Alright, let's uh, get that armor. The crit chance is actually quite nice. I think I want it on Shadow Cat. Holy crap. She looks so beefy with that. Yeah, that's cool. Plus 4, plus 5. You're running plus 4, plus 6. 
and plus one. Nice. Uh, we have uh, armor open, which means he's gonna get it, and this is gonna go over here. Yeah, nice. So that's cool. Still, there was a dog, and I want to see what the the dog is doing there. Can we get into the bottom of this? No, it doesn't seem like it. So, hey doggo. Lots of chickens. Cyborg chicken, are you kidding me? There's so much good stuff here. <laughs> Metal plated electronics have been implanted in this chicken's body. It looks up at you and the sense of loneliness in its eyes. You don't see any other chicken around. Cluck. I want to have a new companion. Oh, maybe I don't have enough mechanics. Okay. We have a robot chicken here. And a lot of doggos. What is going on here? And the barrel light. Oh yeah, we also wanted weapon modding. Wait, did we not pick up weapon modding? We have weapon modding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hit chance plus 3%. A bigger magazine. Right? Magazine size plus 1. And that is a, a plus one armor and a healing bonus of plus ten percent. A modify armor. Yeah, that's great. It's really good. I don't know if uh, this will completely be consumed then, and if I can take it back. So, I would probably put it into something that makes sense. This is a plus 4 armor. This one here is a plus 5 armor. I think we were gonna keep that around for a while. So, give me a second. Modify armor. Put that on here. Now it's a plus 6 armor. Um. Yeah, let's get it on her again. So, she's well protected with 10 armor plates. He's only 4. 3. 17. And then also 3. Alright, and then I want to upgrade my Winter Warrior, I believe. That thing is uh, shooting three times, so let's go ahead and modify the weapon. Getting that plus three hit chance. Getting that magazine online. Bam! Weapon modding, everybody! It's a thing. Let's also talk to the doggos. Curious sniff. Crushed heatsink, nice. More dollars and putrefied tar. There's no dog that we can really talk to here, right? In terms of Animal Whisperer. Sensors. That's a choke. Weapon mod? Probably for a shotgun, right? Cone angle plus 10. Nice. But check it out. Hey, dog. Uh, that didn't work. Let's try again. Requires a higher... A oh, a higher Animal Whisperer. Sure. What about the chicken? Yeah, that's it. Alrighty, guys. We have, I think, completely... Completely figured out what's going on in the base. Next time, we're gonna go for the next mission. This is where we go. And we're gonna try to help out the other marshal that was there. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we're gonna see each other next time. Goodbye.